There we go. All right, pull that thing out of there. <laughs> Mr. Bolt, screw, nut, dealy bobby. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. You found your hands clean yet? Not yet. Well, what's wrong with you? Because trying to clean them with this awesomely dirty rag. Dirty rag. Okay, what are we going to do to this cover? We're going to shave it down so it looks all nice and pretty. Well, we're going to butcher it. We're going to make it nice. And in case you don't know what it is, it's a Harley part. It resembles yeah. something maybe on a Sportster of some type? Some type of Sportster. Okay. Some type of way. Okay, let me show you how to do a backyard butcher job. Someone already hacked it over here. We're not naming who that was over. We do not know who that person was, but the word on the street is that he's quite handsome. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sharp blade, this would work a lot better. Now we already made some cuts, so you got to cut through here already. Put that way. We got one right through here, put that way. Get back like that on that one. It went down that way. And you tried using a chop saw over here, which didn't work for sure. It did long. not work. So we're going to go here with a hacksaw now. We're going to hit it. I'm going to hide the view. People call this manual labor. I call it exercise. I'm tired. All right, it's done. You didn't shut that off. I'll get my tool, did you? Yeah. You know what this is? That's a fixed machine. And so, just like that, it's an aluminum remover. See how hard that was to do? Now should we be able should we uh, keep this piece? Do you notice where it broke? Yeah. In the middle of It did break down the side because I relieved it away enough that I gave it fracture points. Now this one I didn't break off because of why? Because it's hollow and it's sturdier. It's very thick. Now I have room to get to it with a hacksaw though. So now I can knock it off. Now you want to use this to make something with down the road? Should we use that to keep uh, to make the bracket? I have no idea how you're going to make a bracket, but you can use it if you want to. I think that'll probably be the best bet. I don't know. <clears throat> Once again, if you had a sharp hacksaw, this would work better. I went through the hole. Yeah. Thick over there. It's tiring. Let's see. How many hits? One. Called it. <clears throat> There's a lot of work cutting out. See how you just knock it off and mm -hmm. see If you want that piece, it went on the floor back there. Someplace. We don't need it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, then we got a nice brand new aluminum hogger that on the big grinder. The big grinder. And that will take this off pretty quickly. And then we have some lubricant up here that probably would hurt to use right here. What kind of lube is that? That is Miller Tip Dip for your wire feed. That Tip Dip. 
And so you tip your dip in there, then you blow off the excess. And if you're lucky, it doesn't go all over your arm. There you go. Now it is lubed, and you are in the line of fire, too. I totally am. And you just knock off the high spots. It's gone. <laughs> it's just melting it. It's a little aggressive. That's awesome. The problem is I keep digging my cutter in, but it's okay. It's kind of like a router bit, see? Yeah. Doesn't overcut when using this router bit. Yeah. Now all that hop is bad on your teeth. See no hole? No hole means it goes bye bye. <laughs> pretty gross when it's new, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Damn. This way, because when it digs in, it goes under here. Yeah, you do. When it digs in this way, it goes It'll that go. way. Gotcha. Makes a difference in damage. one. Well, it's kind of on the wrong side for me to see what I'm doing. Yeah. I so. am pretty smart, but it's nice to see what you're doing. True. I'm going to go over here and find a different cutter. Somebody was mixing up my cutters here. Resembled the cameraman.
There it is. Tools every now and then. Cut oil. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It could be marble mystery oil. Snap on air tool oil. It all works. Something thin I got laid around. Something thin. You know, so this doesn't cut very good because it's dull as hell. Sharp file, this would go better. <laughs> so, the key is for when we're working with metals to have sharp tools. Oh. But don't cut that one. Don't cut that one because we need that one. You can see the hole right there. I used to have a sharp file around here, but I think somebody stole it. I don't think I know it's more aggressive there. You feel the bite. You can hear the bite. I always like to load up so I can use the tip dip. The old tip dip. See how it works on filing. Sometimes it just plugs it up and then cut it all. <laughs> so you were kind of rolling the dice on it? Yeah, let's see what happens. Sounds like it's still cutting. I'm knocking that corner down there. It's not too thin over here. Okay. Remember, this is on the bottom of the bike, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have very many people come up and look underneath it. Well, you're riding the bike, so they probably will see it pretty often. <laughs> when I'm popping sweet wheelies. Upside down because you fell down again. That might. Hey, I have not fallen. I have not dropped it yet. Was knock on wood. Knock on aluminum. Yeah, knock on aluminum. Anyway, if you work on this for a little while, you can see what happens. Or you just leave it. Leave it. It's good. You pull out the body file. Big boy. Smoother grip, yeah. 
it's looking pretty nifty. Some lazy types might use power tools. Now, if I wasn't so aggressive with the other cutter, those big low spots wouldn't have been in there. It's fine. I think it adds character. Character. Probably get some comments now about my grinding. I thought I was going to pour it open it up, so I got carried away. I think it's going to be great. Can't wait to see the comments. Love the comments. All right, so that knocks that down. Now you got to knock this edge here down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we use a more less aggressive grinder for that purpose. Use a file too if you wanted, but why do that? There you go. Still sharp here though. Yep, gotta hit that. Mm -hmm. That one's an oil hole. That we plug. It needs to be plugged. This is a wire hole that has a wire go through it. So we don't need to plug that one. But you do need to deburr it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Did you miss that? Nope. <clears throat> Might clean it up a little bit more. Now, this holding fix you got here is kind of lax. It's pretty good, huh? Using the, uh, what is that, the tack or the speedo? I think that's the tack. Gotta be a tachometer. There you go. Check that out. Okay. I'm going to let you screw up the rest of it. All right. You'll see this part, so we'll see how bad you do it. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Go for it.